Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today what we have here is the Master Grade Astray Gold Frame Amasut Mina this is by of course the Tapa model and the set this is following the Metal Build version of it so yeah, I think it's kind of cool first time um, Tapa released um, this kind of design the first one came out was of course Strike Freedom and then you have the Double X and then now you have this Amasut Mina over here so yeah it's good to see that um, Tapan is taking a different approach but yeah so as you guys can see at the front here this box is really massive it's as large as the Tapan Strike Freedom box but this I mean the length the length wise is the same as the Strike Freedom but the width over here it's definitely um, much more bigger than the Strike Freedom one but yeah, nonetheless, now here we take a look at the side. So you can see here, this is at the back here. You can you will be able to see lots of um decal. You can see here that the wings here. And then over here is the side once it's completed. And then over here you have the details. So if you guys want to read, you guys can pause. And then yeah here and then you can see here just a little bit of dent so now we take a look at another side here here is another completed picture it zoom in so again looks good and at the side here you can see you can see the details the gold color and then here and then here the weapons so yeah and then at the back here it just looks really good here's the full thing of it just here at the let me just focus not sure why it's kind of dark but yeah anyway here it's just like a shading of the back of the amasut mina and then here you guys can see the astray gold frame amasut mina and then after that at the pick here the details you guys can see what are the details that it comes with so yeah So then, this is the side. It's hard to see, but yeah, it just shows like that. The go frame. So yeah, the box is just very simple box, very huge, full of content box. So now, of course, you take a look at the parts that it comes with. So yeah, I'll be right back. So now, we'll take a look first. Here is the sticker parts. Let me just focus again. As you guys can see here, there are lots of decals over here, water decals. But the thing is, I don't know what's this part over here. This looks like the face part. So yeah, it's kind of weird that it got isolated. So yeah, I have to put it back here. And then here you come with the two strings here. It's the same as the Blitz Gundam. I don't have the non-grade Bandai Girlfriend Amatsu, but I do have the Bandai Master Grade Blitz. So yeah, once this is completed, I will bring it out for the comparison and then now here the base we take a look at the base first is here it's a very um huge wording um saying tian which in mandarin it's from mandarin is tian in english is sky so yeah and then here is amatsu okay you guys can see here some details here go frame amatsu mina op main better figure blah 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 so yeah just put aside here so now We'll take a look at all the black parts first. So of course, this very first big huge piece is for the base. So yeah, nothing much to show you guys. It's relatively the same. If you have the um, Tapan, the Strike Freedom and the um, Dragon Momoko Strike Freedom, the base are the same. And that to and they even sell. They are even selling this um, metal built base. Yeah. Uh, I think the next video I make, I will be making the news. So I'll include what are the base that they are selling out now. So you guys can contact your local supplier if you want to. But yeah, now we just continue. Here is another black piece. I'm trying to see if there's anything to show you guys. Uh, maybe this part over here. So you guys can see this is like a glossy finish for the black. Not your usual plain black. 
so yeah you could see but again because all these are the small pieces so there's really nothing to sh really show you guys um again here's another piece this this should be the legs over here the legs armor here oh my god can't focus sorry take some time so yeah and then details details i'm trying to show you guys some details no details so yeah another part down um this part uh, should be the backpack of it and then here you guys maybe you can see this detail over here so yeah you guys can see here the front here is a glossy finish but at the back here it's just your normal black color not glossy finish so yeah good to see that Tapan is putting in effort and I'll talk about the price later on so that's a reference for you guys this of course um, this looks like the head let's hope that it is and then here is some gray piece here some effect and then this part here I'm not too sure what this part is but if I'm not mistaken it should be the weapons so yeah and then over here we well, I don't know what to show you guys but there's a piece here that um, there's like a lot of details over here so yeah you guys can see and then here should be the hand armor over here and now we have final two pieces here this um this is the backpack definitely this huge thing here and then here you guys see this one a very good glossy finish again then this should be the legs this part is the armor the anchor armor there then yeah so then you have two of that parts here's another one so yeah now all the black parts are finished i'll bring on the remaining colors back so stay tuned for that so now here is the one and only red color piece parts or i should say then yeah i think this should be the face here that is was put inside the sticker so yeah let's hope that it is because right now i don't see any face piece here so yep that should be it and you guys can see this red it should be the weapons part for the Amatsu Mina as my camera now here see it's like a really bright red but uh, I can tell you it's not bright it's really like almost like a pink red so yeah it's not this really bright red color maybe due to my lighting so yeah and then next here we have the hands the gray piece here as you can see you have open hand then you have the usual closed fist and then the open fist and then the one where you hold the rifle so on yeah but here and then here are the weapons you guys can see this tree this tree um what you call that lens but i would say that um let's hope that this won't be very loose because in my blitz the mg bandai even the lens are put inside the shield you can't even hold down because if you face down then this lens will fall out of it so let's hope that the problem won't be here on on this amasu mina kit and then here you can see here's another weapon maybe some details there is some wording i think yeah there is definitely some wording let's see if you can focus yeah you guys can see here oh so then the rest yeah nothing much already next there's a few more parts that i'll be showing you guys it will be the go parts so yeah let me bring them over so now here we have the very first go this is of course the whole polycaps and if you guys remember um my dragon momoko the unboxing the parts you have i mean this color this go part is exactly the same color of it so yeah don't expect much this is just like a normal polycaps just that it is in like a yellow yellowish yellowish gold like that so yeah the polycaps is here now we take a look at the, our very first gold piece here so yeah as you can see 
this go maybe the details over here yeah you guys can see the go details so it looks really good I'm not really complaining my touch my hand here it looks very smooth I would say so yeah um, if you this go it's not really like the shiny kind of go this go is more of like a flat go compared to the one that the Akatsuki that I just reviewed um, earlier on it's not that kind of go this is more like a flat go which is not really reflective so yeah now here we have the gray hands and we have the gold color hands as well again this is the same not the shiny really bright this is more like a I would say silver-ish yellow I mean I'm sorry silver-ish gold so yeah just like that the hands here yeah there you have it and next here we have another part here which is the same one as in I'm as in this silver-ish gold so yeah and now we are entering the final part as in the color parts now this one is the more shinier go more reflective but compared to the Akatsuki go it, this is much this is not reflective at all as well but the color is same as the Akatsuki the go color but this one is not the reflective this as well is a flat one so yeah compared the side to side let me just bring this part here you guys can see the contrast for the color one is more like a pure flat gold and the other one is more like a silverish then you paint on the gold on top so yeah so this I'll put on here and now here we have another part the gold color again because all these pieces are all very very small parts so in terms of details there's really nothing I can show you guys but maybe I find this a little bit interesting over here if I'm not mistaken, this could be the hand, the shoulder arm there. And then, yeah, here, this is the very, very last piece. So this maybe can show more details for you guys to see. So, yep, here. Here, this is the body here, the chest. And then, yeah, the rest, nothing much to show. Maybe here, you guys want to see. So, yep. That's it for all the parts. Now, for the final part of the video, I'll show you guys the manual. So, yeah, stay tuned to that. So, yeah, welcome back. Now, we we'll take a look at the manual here. You guys can see here the Amasut Mina completed. This, I don't know what, Jing Se Tao, don't know, Jing Se Tao Tuan Tian Mina. So, yeah. So, here you guys can see this is a non colored um, Amasut Mina. And then let's see how many parts there is. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there are 19 parts of it. If you exclude the base, then it's 17. So let me just move my camera a little bit more. So yeah, so of course starting as always, you will do the body part here, the body first. Again, looks a lot of part that I think one day, one part, I think is good enough for my finger or hand. Then yeah, here, and then after that here, you have the heads. Yeah, even the head also like, there yeah, are like so many small parts that you, that you combine into a big part of it. So yeah, it's going to be a long one. And then here is going to be your right hand first. Then after that complete everything, then you would have the left hand. And then over here, it's just the same. And yeah, then here you have the waist unit. And you guys can see here, I just noticed, I think this is like the first time that the um, Tapa actually tell us like which are the part that is needed to assemble the parts. So yeah, it's kind of cool. And over here, just the legs licks licks and then licks again then you have completed here the licks like don't know how many pages was it 
from page 11 until page 6 so that's like what 7 pages wow it's gonna be a crazy one and then the, here you would do the backpack then you can open it up here and after that you would have here completed the backpack and then we'll move on to the weapons and here you guys can see the weapons and then here the two here's this sort of like an X the red this this two is the red color piece so yeah and then here completed everything then here you will do the base and then yeah everything completed this here tell you how to mount the how to mount onto the base you will be mounting on the back the back skirt at the bottom here instead of top which usually that is so yeah that's it for this um unboxing video for the tap and go frame amasut mina so before i end the video uh, let's talk a bit here um this um, amasut mina cost me 130 ringgit so if you were to com compare it to a bandai kit um 130 ringgit will get you the non-grade bill gundam the for the iron brother orphans non-grade one to 100 so yeah it's around there maybe one or two one to five ringgit a little bit extra more than the bill gundam or even the same price depends on where you get it so yeah it's around there and then before i end the video i'm gonna show you guys the comparison of the box sizes between the tapan model girlfriend amasu mina and the stripe freedom of the tapan model so yeah wait a while so here it is as you guys can see the size comparison the I, you guys, I told you guys the length oops the length here to here is the same as the strike freedom length but the width it's much thicker you can see this is like the width here and you compare to this it's like so much skinnier like here then you move on it's like so much larger it's almost fit my whole finger so yeah so anyway, that's it now for my unboxing for this tap and Amasut Mina. Amasut Mina. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below and maybe suggest it to your friend or anyone else. So yeah, and if, and if you guys still haven't subscribed to me, please don't forget to subscribe to me because there will be more um, this kind of video coming out soon. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon and I hope you guys have a very good day.